And two people are recovering tonight after being stabbed on a Greyhound bus near Portland. That bus was on its way to Boise. KBOI 2's Brian Morin is live at the Greyhound station where he shares the story of a passenger who saw the whole thing. Yeah, Brent, and certainly it must have been a terrifying ride for many passengers on board. Now, that bus that uh, we're talking about was actually here at the Boise Greyhound station, but it left. It's back on the road tonight on its way to Denver, its original destination. But right now, Robert Moran Vazquez is sitting behind bars accused in this stabbing. He's charged with attempted murder, second degree assault, and 28 counts of reckless endangerment. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office in Washington says Vasquez stabbed two people on that bus. It took off from Portland, didn't make it very far. The stabbing happened about 15 miles to the east on I-84 near Troutdale. The two stabbing victims had to be taken to the hospital. No word on their conditions tonight. There were 25 people on board the bus at the time. We do have video of the bus here at the Greyhound Station in Boise this afternoon. Some of these passengers were on the bus when the attack happened. I managed to find one man who was instrumental in stopping the suspect. We, we got him and everything. Uh, we were shoving the, uh, there's a door in between where the passengers and the uh, bus driver sit and we kept pushing that on him to try and you know, deflect whatever blows he was trying to give to us. And, um, Gave him a couple of bruises and everything, so yeah, we we defended ourselves as best we could. Now, story tells me he, his friend, and a third man jumped in to stop that attack. The bus was originally scheduled to roll into uh, the Boise Greyhound station about 9:40 this morning. It made it about 2:20, a little more than four and a half hours late. Reporting live in Boise, Brian Moore in KBOI Two News.